Yes, Gordon Perry is back on his old battleground, the White City. There he is, lying third in the 5,000 metres event at the News of the World meeting between Britain and the USSR. Russia's Peter Bolotnikov is in the lead, with Derek Ibbotson and Perry just behind. The Russian stays in front till the back straight. But that's Ibbotson's favourite killing ground, and there he goes. And hard on his heels, Gordon puts in a burst, and the Russians left in third place. Round the last bend, Perry really lets himself go. He streaks past Ibbotson, and the crowd roar with delight as their long-legged hero proves he's right back in form. Ibbotson hasn't the hope of catching him, but he's got the Russian licked, so as Gordon Perry breaks the tape, it's Britain first and second. Welcome back, Gordon. Diane Leather runs the race of her life in the 800 metres. The Russians Yomalaeva and Otkalenko look as though they've got the race in the bag, but at the last bend, Diane starts an electrifying challenge. Yes, yeah, she's made it. The Russians fight back, but they can't hold the British girl who's tried easily for the tape to win in 2 minutes 6.8 seconds. The Anne's as slim as a greyhound, but you don't have to be slim to be a champion. 17 stone Miss Tishkovich puts the weight 51 feet 6 inches. A visitor who always guarantees excitement is Vladimir Kutz just taking the lead in the 10,000 metres from his teammate Zhukov. For the moment, they've got it all their own way, and the first half of the race is an all-Russian show. But then Britain starts to put in an appearance in the shape of George Knight, who's battling bravely to catch up with Zhukov. Kutz is all on his own, but Knight's pressing Zhukov hard. Knight's a gallant second, and it's one more victory for Iron Man Kutz. The 800 metres produces a surprise. Derek Johnson was to have run, but he pulled a calf muscle minutes before the race. Mike Rawson runs as substitute and leads all the way. A brilliant effort against Russia's finest men at the distance. Teammate Mike Farrell supports him wonderfully, taking second place on the last bend. The final result of the two-day meeting is a punch triumph for Russia. But thanks to winners like Mike Rawson, a majority of the men's track events end in victory for Britain.